Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Something with Someone. This episode is Spanish with Camille. Bienvenidos a Español con Camille. Today actually we're going to talk about false cognate. What a cognate is, is when you have two different languages and a word looks the same or sounds the same and generally has the same meaning. Like for Spanish and English, el carro is car. 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 That's car. real simple stuff. Right? But it can be misleading a lot of times because a false cognate is when two words look the same but they mean nothing. 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 They mean nothing. They don't mean the, words the same mean thing. Nothing. They're not related. They're not. They have different origins and so they don't translate to the same thing in the other language. The example that a lot of people use is embarazada in Spanish. What would you think? If I said estoy embarazada, what would you think that would mean? I am very sad. No. Most people think embarazada sounds a lot I'm like. There you go, you got on. I am very sad. <laughs> People use that when they are trying to communicate that they're embarrassed and even though that is technically the origin of the word, in Spanish it's come to mean pregnant. So when you say, I am very embarrassed, you, you are said, ending up being yeah. even more embarrassed. Yeah, exactly. If you say, estoy muy embarazada, they'd be like, <laughs> I can't tell. It's like, whoa. Even, <laughs> even weirder if you're a guy. That's the main example. There's actually a pen company in Mexico for their advertisement use the phrase, no te embarazará a toreándose en tu bolsillo which they thought meant it won't embarrass you when it leaks in your pocket their pen but it means our pen won't leak in your pocket <laughs> and impregnate you which you know I'm glad that the pen won't when do I'm that. pen shopping generally I'm like if this pen gets me pregnant yes let's do some more false cognate so what do you think atender would be attending it is not in fact it means to attend to someone but it's in the sense of assisting them so like I'm helping you quiero atender at the I want to attend to you. <laughs> I want to attend to the tea. I must put sugar and milk in. Yeah. The next word is connected to this because what do you think the verb assistir would mean? To assist. It means to attend. You think if someone along the lines would have been like, hey, these two words mean the opposite. <laughs> Should we switch this before people get confused? Maybe English is the one that's wrong. Some other false cognate. What about bizarro? Bizarre. It is in fact brave. That's And bizarre, bizarre you would say as raro or uh, extraño, which is like strange. What about la carpeta? The carpet. It is bouldered. And carpet is alfombra. Rachel has suggested that I say la playa. What do you think la playa is? The pliers. No. No. It is the beach. In Dubd. How about dormitorio? So a dorm. No. I'm in a dorm. No. Uh, a dorm would be la residencia. Dormitorio is just bedroom. So what would you think éxito would mean? Exit. In fact, it does not. In fact, it does <laughs> not mean... Éxito means success. And exit is la salida. And I would think that would be the salad. But no. <laughs> No. There are oh, cognates everywhere. The next word is la fabrica. We have fabric on this one. Actually, it means factory. And fabric is la tela. And tela de araña is spider web. What do you think nudo means? Well, I'm gonna go with noodle. No. No, you're not even. <laughs> Half of the time, you're not doing what the cognate actually means. What are you doing so hard? Um, what you might say. Noodle means not. A lot of people think that it means nude. Or noodle. Or noodle. I think it means noodle. I don't know the See, Spanish. See, well, word if you're noodle. nude and you're a guy, <laughs> there, there are some noodles. <laughs> what do you think that sopa would mean? Soap. It means soup. And soap is hobble. You think I would have figured so, out by now that the word I think it sounds like isn't correct. Ah, our next word would be trampa. What do you think that would be? Let's, Play the game. Let's go with Play trampoline. <laughs> it is not trampoline. Tramp, lady in the tramp. It is not tramp. Oh, poor. That trampa is actually trap. Now what do you tramp. call a tramp, tramp a tramp a tramp, a tramp. I don't know what, what do you trampoline. call a trampoline? What do you call a tramp? A tramp? A vagabundo. Is there I'm any sure way to positively call someone a tramp? Yes, a vagabond. You tramp. Enseñar pocos frases. I am insane about bookers. <laughs> Yo no sé que tú piensas That's que estás right. escuchando en mis oraciones, I'm pero so no es correcto Maybe. para nada. I am not miserable, nor is the coat rack. Claro, tal vez. Clearly, future best. <laughs> Es un nombre muy cómico, Ricky Jervis. Porque ya hemos hablado de palabras cognatos, cognatos fast. Y ahorita estoy a burrito. Y voy a hablar totalmente en español. Because of all these cognates, <laughs> I think it's time for a burrito. Podemos ir a Chipotle. <laughs> In Spanish, sometimes one word can have many different meanings. Kind of like in English, you can say the dove dove, and we know that it's not the dove dove, 
like well, in the context of the sentence. The dove doves. The dove doves. But like similar to that, what do you think the word mono means in Spanish? One. No, that would be uno. Well, like mono. Oh, okay, yeah. Is it like single? Well, that's a good guess. But it actually has three different meanings. Well, commonly, mono means monkey, the animal. Uh, but it also means mechanic. And it also means jumpsuit. <laughs> so So you might say you might see a mono mono mono. It would be a monkey would in a jumpsuit <laughs> working on a car. Yeah, you could say el mono mono lleva un mono. The monkey mechanic wears a jumpsuit. That's all that we have. That's all the Spanish I came here to share with you. We'll have another episode <laughs> of Spanish with the Camille soon. It'll be really great. I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next week. Adios muchachos. Hasta luego.